Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Perils of Man. I'm totally excited to get back and play. Now we've been walking around in the house, and um, right now we have the dark glass vial, which is like the big mystery right now. Uh, Pepper's ghost, or the idea of it, I guess. Uh, balloons and hanger, Thomas's portrait, and lampshade. And I'm thinking that the lampshade might possibly help us with a diorama. I vaguely remember my father fiddling with this before he went away. It might have some connection to the glass vial. Or not. <gasps> it fits perfectly! Yes! Okay, let's do it. Understanding of what I have discovered, this must be held in absolute secrecy. Should you have any doubts along the way, Darwin will assist you. Discovering the secret of Pepper's ghost. My name is Thomas Ebel, and I designed this automaton to test your intellect and strength of purpose. But this is only the first test. My years of private research have resulted in a momentous discovery. I have harnessed a power which may prove to be of immense benefit to mankind, but which also holds the potential for unprecedented destruction. After witnessing this destruction in my own son Edgar, I had determined that mankind was not yet ready to possess it. For this reason, I built a secure laboratory to continue my work in secrecy. However, as dangerous as this power can be, I could not in good conscience permit its virtues to be lost to humanity. It became necessary for me to make provisions for my eventual demise. The secure area can only be accessed from my study. To gain entry, you will need to count the specific hours of the day, beginning with the zero hour. And the code to those hours is in this book. Remember this book, and the starting point, the zero hour. A word of warning. You are about to embark on a perilous journey. Until you have come to a full understanding of what I have discovered, this must be held in absolute secrecy. Should you have any doubts along the way, Darwin will assist you. What? Oh my gosh! Well, I mean, Fibonacci. Thomas had a book called Liber Abaci. He All was right. saying something about it, but I couldn't hear him. Well, I guess we'll go look for it in the study. Yes, we progress. I mean, still in the beginning of the game, but. Progress. Alright, where do we find the book? Ooh, ladder rails. Didn't we have a ladder here? What happened to it? Uh, maybe we can ask Mom? Oh, she probably took it away because it's so dangerous. can't quick walk cool walk on a walk mom where's the ladder tell me about the portraits all your ancestors a hundred and fifty years of scientists and explorers mom I know that I've only lived here my whole life didn't father ever tell you the stories? He always just said it was best left alone. Thomas Aberling's portrait looks new. Did you have it restored? No one's been in that room. Except... Ghosts. I know you were thinking it. Mm. Mm, no, 
talking about? Okay. Well. Um, hmm. Can we find the book? Next question. Mum must have locked the door. Oh, and taken her keys so we can't the go out. The in here. <sighs> the fireplace must be crazy hot now. I don't like putting it up that high. It's dangerous. Um, yeah, I just want to see what how mom reacts to that. Oh, no, it's too hot. Would you turn it down? Quite an inferno. I've always been a little scared of fire. Was there some reason why you locked the front door and took my house keys? I'm sorry, Anna, but I was afraid you'd go out into the storm and get hit by lightning. What are the odds of that? Zero. As long as you stay in the house. Let me outside to see the storm. I can't. You know the rules. We batten down the hatches in the storm. All right. Uh, well, making it extra warm doesn't see. Okay, let's make it extra cold and see what happens. The thermostat's in here. The fireplace should be low now. Mum will be unhappy. Cool. I suppose I can fix the fireplace myself now. Oh. Yes. Oh, it's burning low. Oh, she doesn't know how it works. <gasps> Something's under the cushion. My house key. I think I did it. Oh, good mom! Yay! Good job. I'm just gonna very casually, accidentally walk out into the storm. Bye! Okay, I'm going outside. Ooh. Oh! So that was there. I've practically lived my whole life in that room. There's nothing alive in there. If you come back here, I wanna look more at the house. Which one of my ancestors also lived in my room? Oh, look, clock hands. Hmm. These symbols on the fountain look just like the ones carved on the box containing the glass vial. I thought they looked familiar. Pretty obvious what that is. Yeah, clock hands. Okay, so something to do with. Or well, maybe we should look. Oh, there's a hint button there, okay. Maybe we should look through... Like, look at the fountain through the glass vial or something? No one for miles. When we die, no one will find our bodies for months. <laughs> the cheering prospect. Okay, we can't go more. Oh, ladder. Yes. I love the ginormous trees. Lils. I should bring it back to the study. I yes, wasn't trying to escape. I was just cleaning windows. Lol. Lol, 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 lol. Oh, thunder and lightning. Yes, look at that. I know I'm supposed to be nervous around storms, 
but I can't help being fascinated by them at the same time. Well, of course, storms are fascinating. How could they not be? I should be? go inside, see. Right. Well, we have clock hands and we have ladder. Okay, let's see if we can find the book now. That was a small lampshade. Hey mom, bye mom. I have not been outside. Nope, just took a shower with my clothes on. <laughs> or bath or whatever they have there. Threw a bucket of water on my head. Alright, let's use the ladder. Yeah, I'll set it up. There's no search function in a library. If I want to find something, where do I even start? Well... I see it. A fragile copy of Liber Arbaci. Fibonacci time with hour zero and one. The time has just begun. When present is added to past, the future hour is cast. Just as adding the previous two will get to the next in the queue. Duh, it's just Fibonacci, come on. No, wait, come on, I want to use it with, with Grandfather Clock, come on. Success! Um, so how do we do this? That seems good. Let me try a few more. One. One. Two. Three. Five. Eight. Thirteen. That's Fibonacci. Okay, the pendulum's working now. The shelves in the corner are moving. Something tells me those stairs don't lead to a wine cellar. Thomas said it would take me on a perilous journey. Should I risk it? Yes. Or should I get a blanket and go sit with my mother? I say risk it. <laughs> yeah. Hey mom, not doing dangerous things at all. This spins and generates electricity. So there is a generator, sort of. Let's figure this out. Water boils in the tank and creates steam. Steam turns the generator in front. Yep, it's just a boiler. Cold drops down this chute, right into the boiler. It looks like this chain broke off from the handle up of the coal feeder. It must release coal. I really want to move the handle, but I can't reach it. Okay, let's see if there's anything else here first. Okay. Elevator? I can't pry open the door. Okay, what if we use this? The balloons can raise this hangar anywhere I need it. Ha! Coal shoot switch. It worked! I hear lights switching on in the distance. There must be other rooms down there. <laughs> the mansion on top is just a tiny tip of the iceberg. Spooky elevator. I'm a little scared to go through. Well, I mean, you threw away your flashlight, so... an air duct. An Whoa. escape tunnel! What fun! Oh, passage to lab is here somewhere. Okay. Cool. Just old invoices and warranties. Alright. Thomas's note. Okay, we're definitely gonna look at that. It's a furnace. This has been under my house my whole life? Machinery from the age of steam. All right. Here's Thomas's 1863 notes. January 27, 1863. On cold days such as these, I am reminded of that tragic day on the glacier and my dear Elsie. And yet, 
My spirits are lifted because I have finally understood that the strange power derived from the Bavarian crystal is far more than the simple magnetism as I had assumed. If these latest observations are corroborated, I can only conclude that I am dealing with a phenomenon that has never been previously documented. If this is so, then perhaps Elsie's death will not have been in vain. This is from Thomas Eberling, but who is Elsie? Mystery indeed. A beautiful old book. Hmm, this seems too big to be a lab journal. And it's called The Parallel Man. All the pages are blank, but it has a bookmark. It could be my father's handwriting on the cover. Perils of man. There's that word peril again. Why not just danger? I'm pretty sure my father didn't abandon us just to write a novel. There must be more to this. Pretty sure you're right. Oh, we probably need to use something to like reveal um, invisible ink or something, I'm gonna presume. Science's first precision instrument. Lol. Much of the equipment here has layers of dust, but not these tongs. A sturdy little crucible. There, it's on. All right, off. Yes, 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 please off. I don't know what to do with it yet. <laughs> Risky chemicals. The chemicals are fresh. Someone was in the middle of an experiment. I hope it was my father, or this is twice as creepy. Yes. Okay, what do we have now? Okay. Oh. A specimen in a glass bell, preserved for all time. Can we do this? Won't fit. Okay. Um. Hmm. I guess we can go talk to mom. I don't know. <laughs> this is probably an air duct. Ask about Elsie or something? I don't know. We can try. Mum. There's a cave and an elevator and a secret lab? No. You know what? She'll just say it's best left alone. Then she'll have it sealed off forever. I'm going to figure this out by myself. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Mum, come quick. I used Fibonacci on the clock and the bookcase opened and there was a secret passage. That's wonderful, Anna. I'm proud of you. Now I know where those cold gusts of wind come from. Naturally. It's the ghosts. Just come with me. It's too cold. I'm sure the secret passage isn't going anywhere. Maybe father's down there. There's a whole new place to explore. Come on. Explore away, darling. I'll expect a full report in the morning. Okay. Nothing about Elsie. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, that was cool. Um... Okay, sure. If I hold my glass vial up to this window, can I finally see what's inside it? Okay. I want to hold it up to a window. Get back from those windows, Anna. You're taking a big risk getting struck by lightning. I don't want to add your ghost to all the other spirits in this house. I think the risk of lightning coming through the window is pretty small. Yes. Everyone believes the risk is small just before something bad happens to them. Your father was forever taking risks 
and look what happened. The best risk is no risk. That's why I don't go outside anymore. Just out of curiosity, who's going to take care of you when I go away to university, Mum? Who said you are going away to university? I already lost your father. He was here one day and gone the next. I'm never going to take that chance with you. You expect me to stay cooped up in this house like you for the rest of my life? Well, if you leave this house, you may not have a rest of your life. But if I never leave the house, I won't have a life at all. Ugh, you're being dramatic. Besides, you have all the abling ghosts to amuse you. Okay, so she's basically just gonna make her daughter a prisoner and not let her get education, job, life, anything. Because it's dangerous outside. Because it's not like this old creaky house is dangerous in any possible way. No. The lightning isn't direct enough. Maybe I should try it outside. Oh. Cool. Let's do it. Yeah, okay, that's not how you do good parenting. Locking your children up in your house. Just saying. Quick, before she notices. Here we go. Let's see what's inside. Yes. Come on, lightning. It looks like some kind of casting mold for a key. Vial with key shape added to inventory. Okay. Alright. I need to combine it with something, but not that. Oh, we need to melt something and then pour it in so we can get the key. I can hit the crucible safely. Whee! All right. Well, I'm I'm liking that the game has a hint system. Um, what could we use to fill the key mold with? Sure, I don't know. Thomas said to look for a certain book. The only books we have are in the study. Yeah, sort of did that. I've got to get out that front door. I can't. Mother's yes. got the key to the front door. I don't have any ideas right now. I don't have any ideas right now. Okay, so she basically just went through <laughs> everything she knew. Was like, no, not right now. I'm not vacuuming on my birthday. My birthday. Okay, so no ideas right now. Oh wait, can we can we make it out of wax? She makes me blow out unlit candles on my birthday, and it drives me mad. It won't ever be bright or hot enough to be useful. It won't ever be bright okay. or hot enough to be useful. Okay. Okay. Could go back up to our room, but I'm not sure there's much there. Empty. Father didn't leave a note.
Yeah, I'm taking the long way now, but... <laughs> A generator. Good to know we'll have power if there's a zombie apocalypse. When there's a zombie apocalypse. No. Not that they're gonna find you in your house in nowhere. You really not have any ideas. This is the perfect place to get to the bottom of this glass vial mystery. The next step is simple and fun. Use the mallet. Smash that mold. Take the key. Oh. Oh, okay. You mean like this? That won't make a key out of this mold. Oh. Okay, but I haven't, like, I haven't put anything in the mold, though. Okay, that book in the center of the room needs investigating. I don't have any ideas right now. I don't have any ideas right now. Okay. Now, I, I need something to put in the mold. That's the problem right now. I get- okay, sure, I get that I can smash it to get it out, but, like... What do I put in the mold? Come on, Anna, what do I put in the mold? Oh! Oh my god! Okay, I didn't think that was a different- Oh, okay, never mind. Found a new place! This is probably gonna fix everything, yeah. Oh, it's a chess automaton! Cool, a robotic chess player. Causality as a myth. Huh. Thomas said he discovered something with the potential for unprecedented destruction. Could this be it? It looks like an unfinished game. Maybe we can, you know, finish it. We find his head. It's permanently rusted shut. May 9th, 1874. Working from my father's specimens, I have determined conclusively that the onyx and amethyst crystals are most effective with the Risk Atlas. However, the topaz crystals are unique in their ability to indefinitely trap light. I have yet to discover what triggers these recordings. I cannot bring myself to destroy the original topaz, though I have placed it in a lead box and removed it from the lab. In weaker moments, its very proximity endangers my reason and good sense. Okay, oh, oh, Edgar, that was, um, the son of Thomas. Okay, yeah. Darwin. Oh! Darwin will help you! Oh, the key is for Darwin! A small wooden tail. A big spring that got unwound. It's a small vacuum tube filled with crushed crystal. The right leg of a robot bird. One metal bird leg, the left one. We need to put the key in. Uh huh. Dusty boxes. Woodworking tools. Oh, Edgar's 1875 note. March 3rd, 1875. Ooh, my A breakthrough. My father dedicated his life to the study of the Bavarian onyx, amethyst, and topaz. But it is I who have uncovered their true potential with the tantalite crystals. The power that I have unlocked will change the way men see the world, if not the world itself. Tantalizing? Most assuredly, it sets us on a path that may one day lead to an end of all calamity and peril. And yet, I cannot shake a dreadful feeling, for I already know that with this new power comes a vile and rapacious capacity for... Rapacious capacity for what, I wonder? I'll never know. Uh, oh, Edgar's 1875 note. Okay. Edgar got into Tantalite, but he was afraid of its oh, power. Oh, that was the same note. Okay, cool. Wait, what was that? No, no, go to lab. No, 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 no. Okay, well, we have this. Um... 
Yes, I would like Darwin to help me. But I need something to... No. Okay, fine, hint me. Okay, I see two machines here. The chess robot is too rusted to fix. But I can repair whatever's on the work table. Yeah, but I think we need a key. Let's get to work on that bird. I don't have any ideas right now. Alright, well, we didn't find anything to, you know, put in the key. Mold. Right, go to the lab. Huh. What if we go to cave and have hints there? Nothing more to learn from this cave. All right. Study. Or it's obviously in our room because, you know, why not? Okay, there are a lot of secrets in these books. I need to know the titles of specific books. I need the ladder to reach. This is a day for uncovering secrets. The clock looks like it was built by the same. I don't have any idea. I don't have any ideas right now. All right. Well, we'll have to leave there because time is up, and we'll have to try to figure out what to put in the key mold so we can actually get somewhere. Like, just need the key, and then we can like build Darwin and you say. Bleh. But we will hopefully find it eventually. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you're enjoying The Perils of Man, and I will see you.